to start the day and find out what on earth we're up to. Welcome back everyone to the Hardcore Create mod, where today I have an idea for something, but I'm not entirely sure if I can do it. But if it is possible, I want to see if I can at least get it started. You know, just kind of get the ball rolling here. But firstly, you you guys told me to, to look at something. So last episode, I mentioned how you guys were telling me to look at other ways of getting iron. So, you know, I, I just used the JDI mob or whatever it is. JDI, what is it? I think it's JEI. But um, so I, I was looking at the iron ingot. I have since been informed what I was supposed to be looking at was the iron nugget. So apparently this can be collected in different ways. So obviously there's there's crafting and stuff. There's blasting, that that's in the game by default. Automated shaped crafting is just gonna be crafting, but automatic. You can grind that down. Okay. So any sort of variation of, oh, wait. So it's a 10% chance, but you seem to just be able to chuck like anything in there. Okay, maybe I should work on getting some tough. And then what are these? Bulk blasting and bulk washing. So either gravel going through water or iron filet, crushed raw iron. Okay, I'm interested in this then. I think our objectives may have changed. Okay, well, maybe not. Hold on. I, I want to see how something works. So is a drill something in Create Mod? It is. Mechanical drill. I want to look at Hold W to ponder. What does the... Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. What? I can just... I... I there's graphics about this? I didn't know about that. I just see a creeper. I thought I saw a creeper. Okay, I I did not know about that. But you know what? I think that's made the objective of this video quite clear. I want to get started actually using Create Mod to do some stuff because last time and stuff like, I mean both last episode and last season, I spoke about it a lot, but I didn't really do anything. So this time around, I would just kind of like to see if, you know, I can actually mess around with it a bit. And hopefully, I won't die as early. Right, okay, so I want to take a look at... Hold on, right, I need iron. So, crushing. I need one of these. What is that? A crushing wheel. Oh, oh, God. I need mechanical crafting. Okay. So, how would I make a mechanical craft? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, so an electron tube, brass casing, and stuff like this. Oh, gosh. Okay, change of plan. I want to work on a drill. Because, if you remember, last time, we actually... Actually, there's a bed in this chest that I want. Last time, we actually noticed that we can make a functioning windmill. So, you know, it's something a little better than that. It's like I discovered that just in the advancements here and stuff. So I want to work out how we make a windmill and, you know, how we make it function. So let's do a quick search. Windmill, uh, that is a window pane. Okay, so windmill sail frame and an actual windmill sail. Okay. Okay, so I can either craft it like this, or I could literally just put a windmill sail frame into a crafting table. So how do I get the sail frame? Oh, okay, so I need andesite alloy, sticks, and wool. I can do that. Uh, do I have any iron anywhere? Surely I do. There we go. All right, give me your wool. Okay, and I made andesite alloy last time, and I've also got some sticks and plenty of wood. So I think we are about to get our first ever create mod item here. So just like that, look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. So I can like, I can visualize where it's going to go. Okay. Uh, do I break it with an X? Okay. That seems to be fine. Good. Okay. So I suppose somehow I hook that up to something. Do the advancements say anything? Assemble a windmill of maximum strength. How do I do that though? Do I need like an axle or something? That feels like something that would make sense. Okay. Axles don't exist. 
exist. Okay, can I visualize this with the drill? Because, uh, where, where's visualization? How do I visualize stuff again? Oh, yeah, W. Right, okay, I need one of these things, right? So, I assume it's a gear? Is that what it's called? Okay. Gearbox, vertical gearbox, gear shift, adjustable chain gear shift, and sequence gear shift. I assume I want a gearbox, right? So, I need cogwheels. How do I get cogwheels? Okay, I need a shaft, which is just andesite alloy. This is cool. Oh, isn't this? It's fun just working it all out. I feel like I'm learning something here. I don't know why I'm doing this outside as well, where a mob could just chuck me off a cliff. Okay, right. So let's just make a bunch of andesite alloy. Then it was that to make the shaft. Okay. And then to make the cogwheel, I just need to attach planks to it. Okay. So I need four cogwheels. There we go. I don't know why I keep closing that. And then I need andesite casing. So how do I make this? Deploying? Oh, manual item application. Okay, I just need to apply it to a log. Does it have to be a stripped log or can I just, uh, how do I do this? So, strip the log and then... Oh, okay, this is interesting. So then what? I put that in there and then get four cog wheels. And look at that, I, I've got a gearbox. How do I use this? What do I do? Do I... Well, that doesn't work. I want to work this out by myself. I don't want to use a tutorial for this. This is fun. Okay, so I need like one of those things. Is it an axle? Wait, hold on. Is it just a shaft? <gasps> oh, and then like, do I, do I put that? No. How, how do I attach this to start? Okay, wait, hold on. Why don't I, why don't I just like visualize a windmill sail or something? If I, if I take a look at this, right, what has that got? Sails are handy to create windmill, uh, sails for windmill bearing. What is it? What? So what is, okay, so I need a windmill bearing. How do I make this? So windmill bearing, how do I make that? That is so easy. Oh my gosh, we're learning. Wait, I've forgotten the recipe again. What is it? Okay, so it's just like like a stone and a slab. Okay. Can I make it with andesite? So if I do that, uh, that's facing the wrong way. Okay. So it faces towards the player. And then if I just like do that and then like attach that, right click the bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you just built. Unable to assemble. Attached structure does not include enough sail like blocks. A minimum of eight. I need eight. I don't even have the andesite for that. Is this video already like 10 minutes long? It only feels like I've been recording for like two minutes, but an entire Minecraft day has gone by and I have basically been talking all the time. And it's just me messing around in the inventory, but I'm, I'm genuinely just excited to maybe get my first ever create mod build. Come on, the sun's setting. It's basically nighttime. Let me sleep. Come on. Okay, okay, right. I need to collect up this. Something I do have to admire about Create Mod is the fact that it has given some actually cool use to some really useless items. You gotta admit, Andesite is a nice building block, but it's functionally useless. But then when it when it comes to this mod, it is literally like the main thing that holds everything together. Literally, the builds are held together by it. Okay, okay, I've got a stack of Andesite. Surely this is enough to last me a while. Okay, right. So if I attach the, uh, I need to attach these in the right direction, I think. Because, yeah, that's just going to cancel each other out, isn't it? Because that's going to try and push this way, and this is going to try and push this way. So I think I have to make this make cohesive sense. So then I can just attach stuff to the top like this. And if I try and compile this now with an empty hand. <gasps> It works! This is my first ever create mod contraption. And I mean, it is weak as hell, but... But it works! Oh, what's this? Do I get to change the way it rotates? Counterclockwise? <gasps> Oh, that is so cool. And like with the shaders on, it actually works. One of my biggest problems with Create Mod has always been the fact that like in videos and stuff, whenever a contraption is activated, all shadows just disappear, which I get is just because of how Minecraft lighting works. But with the shaders, it just, it just works. So it actually functions and yeah, it still looks good. Right, okay. So how do I turn it off? Do I just... Okay, and then can I can I just like break this apart? 
Oh, so look at that. Right, okay. Now I want to work out something, though. I want to work out how to make a larger cogwheel. Is that all? It's, it's literally just two blocks. Okay. Okay, right. So, large cogwheel. You guys are going to see why I wanted to do this. Wait, but... Okay, hold on. I have to see how something works now. Okay, right. Okay, I get this. Okay, now, here's the thing. I'm not sure if this will work, because I have a feeling it's gonna say that the sails are facing the wrong way. But I'm hoping that maybe it'll just be fine. Is that... Unable to assemble structure does not include enough sail-like blocks. But it does. Unless, is it not able to handle walls? If I put a full block there, is it gonna be okay? Uh, what, does it need them on that? Like, does it need them connected? Hold on a second. So if I go like that, I think that... No, wait, that is facing the wrong way. Oh, wait, hold on. That's useful. So I worked out if you crouch when you place it, it faces the way that you are looking. But if you don't crouch, then it goes towards you. That is a really useful feature, actually. Okay, so nothing is connected. Let's see. <gasps> I've got a spinning windmill! Oh, that is cool. Does this get in the way of my F5? <gasps> it doesn't! Sorry, I, I really like when stuff doesn't block my F5 because it means that I can move the camera around a bunch and it doesn't get in the way. Oh, that is so cool. Right, okay, wait. So now I actually want to see if I can do the bit that I was thinking of. So I want to put a shaft there, another shaft there, and then put the cog on the back because just... I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. Right. I need, I need to destroy the blocks that are in the way and everything and uh, just take a look. But okay. Let, let's see. Oh, that is cool. I might want to add some more sails to it. And I don't know if adding more sails would make it spin faster, maybe? But now, I'm wondering, can I expand this? So, here's the thing. As much as we like the look of them, windmills aren't purely aesthetic. And they especially would not have been back in the Wild West and stuff, because, you know, resources are important. You don't really want to waste them. So windmills like this quite often would have some sort of piston system coming down in the middle here. And when they do that, it becomes very useful. Because essentially, then you have some sort of system like that that is able to move up and down, or maybe it's spinning something. This is actually kind of how oil rigs work, or water pumps, stuff like that. So I am wondering if I, like, attach a gearbox somewhere up there, or, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe bring something down here. Can I make a drill? Like, like, can I make a drilling machine to go mining for me and have it powered by a windmill? This is an interesting idea. I want to see if I can do this. So taking a look at the drill and stuff, if I, if I just go and look at this... So it requires spinning gears. That is perfectly fine. And then it just breaks whatever is in front of it. Now, the thing is, so as you can see here, these can be used by several things. That is a long piston. How do I get a long piston? Also, I'm aware I'm calling everything by the wrong name here, but I'm, I'm really not too bothered. I want to know how I get a long piston. So, uh, okay, right. So it's not called that. Maybe I should search a piston. So piston extension pole. I assume that would be needed. That's a simple crafting recipe. And then this is it, mechanical piston. Honestly, that is not that expensive and it uses gears to work. Okay. So then, yeah, if I if I ponder this, this is, this is simple. Okay, so the number of poles attached to the back is how far forward it can move. Okay, so it can make not solid blocks. That 
that's quite cool. Here's the thing. So there was something else attached to the drill, which I would like to take a look at. It is these things. What is this? Whenever they're moved as part of an animated contraption. Wait, so is that a thing or is that just a name? And it attaches whatever it... Okay, wait, so so is that not a part? Like, do I not need whatever that, like, thing is? Yeah, it doesn't exist. I can't actually tell what it is, though. Like, I would like to know what that block is to know if I need it. Is it this? Linear chassis. What is that? Let's ponder this. What is it? Linear chassis connect identical chassis blocks next to them. When one is moved by a contraption, the other's dragged with it. Fair enough. Chassis of different type facing a different direction will not attach. Okay. Attaching blocks using linear chassis. Let's see that. Okay, so you have to make it sticky. Am I gonna need slime? That looks like a knot gate or an inverter or is there a name for it? A clutch. Gear shift. This. I think I know what I need to do. This is, um... This is gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Better get a good night's sleep. Which, you know, I didn't do in real life. I'm running on three hours of sleep right now. You know, the totally reasonable amount of sleep to have when you're playing hardcore. Any mobs outside? Uh, the, the, no. No. We're safe. Really? Oh. Interesting. Okay, right. Good system. I need to break you. I want to work out. If I put a gearbox here. Right, okay. So, uh, all of that is spinning in different directions. Cool, as expected. What if I try placing it that way? Uh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, hold on. Aha, transport it into a vertical gearbox. Right. There we go, that works. So now, if I go and attach that, look at that. Brilliant. How many of those things would it take to get down to deep slate? That is a really dumb question. We're on top of a hill, so that's gonna be even more. Oh, why am I doing this? Because you guys didn't want me making an iron farm, that's why. Okay, it would require over 100 blocks to go down. I don't even know if I can make that much. Okay, wait, but the only reason why I want to do that is because I would want to get a crusher or something so I can turn tough into iron but the thing is that would require a mechanical crafter which requires all of this stuff and i don't even know how you get this stuff it needs a deployer how do i make a deployer it needs one of these things okay wait you need an electron tube to make the stuff to make a well how are you supposed to make the first deployer if the thing that you need to make the deployer is done with a... Uh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, I can sandpaper it. How do I make brass? That requires a blaze burner? Excuse me? What the heck do you guys think I'm doing in this? I'm sorry, I'm expected to get a blaze burner? Wait, no, because I don't need it. No, I do need it. Wait. Okay, so I feel like crushing wheels are off the table. Like, there's not even a small crushing wheel, so how am I supposed to get this, really? Because to make a crushing wheel, I would have to use a mechanical crafter, which means I need to get brass, but the only way to get brass is if I have a blaze burner. And I'm not entirely sure I want to get a blaze burner. I'm gonna be honest, I, I think a I think an iron farm is still preferable. I am gonna be honest, it's, uh, for three episodes now, you guys, you guys have told me to look at different ways of getting iron, and throughout all of it, absolutely none of these methods seem better than just making an iron farm. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, you don't just push it through the lava. That makes sense. Okay, so I could make a thing that washes gravel into iron. I can do that. So actually, let's see if I can do that. Because I can't do digging, but I can do washing. So let's see. Right, so I would need to make an encased fan, which is iron sheet. How do I how do I make a mechanical press? Expensive. Okay. Oh, why can't anything be cheap? You know, I'm so glad that these things don't seem to have an effectiveness range and everything. It's like that windmill seems to be able to turn as many gears as I want. That is good, because if it couldn't do that, 
I would be screwed. Okay, though, this is starting to look like an actually properly functioning windmill, though, because they do do this. These windmills are designed to be functional. So it's like some are to extract stuff, some is to crush stuff, because obviously that's actually how, like, flour is made and stuff like that. Right, okay, so to make the mechanical press, I need a block of iron and a side casing and a shaft. That is fine. Just let's strip that, and there we go. I'm one one bit short on iron. Oh well, I I would have needed to go mining anyway, so I might as well get it over and done with now. Please do not die in this. I, I swear though, it is almost like to make all of this stuff with iron, you actually need the stuff to extract iron already. It does kind of feel like that. There's a bunch of zinc and stuff. Why can't things use zinc? You know, nice common metal that I seem to be finding everywhere. It would be nice if maybe something wanted to use that. I saw one crafting recipe with zinc. One, you know, not several. You know, like given how often you seem to find it in the caves and stuff, you would think there would be a lot of crafting recipes for it, but there's not. Oh, this is the cave that I refused to go down last time. Uh, let's stop refusing. Ah! Oh, oh, you are, you are actually much less dangerous now, actually, because you're on a really slow chicken. Oh, why am I doing this when I am so sleep deprived? This is such a bad idea. There's not even any iron. Where is all of the iron? I swear to God, if this is the end of the cave. Okay, it does continue. Iron, finally. I'm still going to need to get more than this. Hello? You're friendly, Enderman. I need to make some torches. You, uh, you seem quite nice. You haven't, uh, okay. You know, see, seems kind of fine so far nothing nothing dropping on my head nothing like coming out of nowhere seems like quite a linear cave actually i take that back okay you see there's probably a lot of resources in this but i don't want to go in a massive open cabin that is literally a recipe for disaster so we're turning around again. Oh, you know, I'm really glad I went on that adventure where I got one bit of iron. Oh, why do I play this game? Okay, where else could I find iron? Like, is there literally anything else that I could do to get iron? I could go find a village and, like, murder the iron golems, or maybe just do the more reasonable option of find a different cave. We are most definitely starved for resources here, though. That's a ravine. Where the hell did this come from? I mean, was there an earthquake in the time I was gone? When did this appear? I mean, the thing is, despite the fact that there's a ravine here, I'm I'm still noticing one thing, which is a distinct lack of iron. And why is it all the bits I find are just one? Oh, there's two. I'm, I'm so blessed. Look, look, here's another vein of two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I, I have been blessed by the gods above. Go on, absolute miracle. That's that bloody cave again. Gonna be fine, you know. All you have to do is just set up all of this stuff and then, then you can get infinite iron from just mining gravel. Think of how rich you'll be. You, you, you just gotta get gravel. That's just a bunch of rocks. That's that's all it is. I don't know where the iron comes from, but uh, sure. What are the chances there's absolutely no iron in this? Uh, apparently 0% because it's not true. Come on, just think, just keep thinking of the future and stuff. Keep, keep thinking of the future, Dutch. Just, uh, just, you just gotta make all the stuff to filter all of the iron. You, you can sell, you can be rich, you can go to Tahiti. And... How much have I got? I've got 11 pieces. Is that gonna be enough? Just to make make what we need because literally all we need is just something that like gets us started and from there it kind of goes exponentially like we just got to make this deployer so that we can make this fan so that then we can go and start filtering gravel to which point we can occasionally get iron and then after we have gotten enough occasional iron we can then craft it into iron ingots and then and then the whole process starts again sounds very reasonable look i don't even need to make like andesite or whatever but uh, andesite alloy, that's what it's called, because I've just got a bunch of it already. I've even got some bucket. Actually, you know what? That's a good point. I'm going to go and grab some water. <laughs> you know what? It's just been quite nice working on this with three hours and s of sleep and stuff. Like, 
Maybe, maybe I should just run off of coffee in all my episodes more. You know, like, my, my brain does seem to be functioning. I've, I've invented stuff. I've made a windmill. I just realized that's... That's not an invention, is it? Windmills have definitely already existed for quite a while. The one thing is, I want to know, if I add more sails, does it get faster? Or like, is it stuck like that? And actually, can I increase how fast stuff turns? Like, if I take a large axle and attach it to a small axle or something, surely there's a difference in how much they'll spin. Like, that's a fundamental rule of how cogs work. And then doing that, could I... Could I, like, exponentially increase the speed of this? That's a question. But, like, in real life, a larger gear will turn a smaller gear quicker. So if I attach a large gear to this and then a small gear attached to that large gear, will it be going faster? And then if I take an axle off of that small gear and attach it to another large gear, which is then spinning faster, and then I attach that large gear to another small gear, would then that one be even faster? I kind of want to work this out. Although, actually, I, I guess it all sort of depends on how quick the gears are. Oh, sorry, not how quick they are, but how many teeth they are. How many teeth they have? God, I can't talk. Surely this will spin at a different speed. Yeah, look, look, they're growing that speed and stuff because that's a large gear attached to a small gear which is spinning faster so it spins this one faster and then it spins that one even faster. Wait, I actually worked that out. Like just in my head, I, I worked that out. I didn't mean to take a screenshot there. Um, anyway, that is, uh, that is not what I need to worry about right now. I have got like absolutely no bread left. Okay, so I need a mechanical press which requires block of iron. No, okay, right. So block of iron and a side casing and then the shaft like that. Look at that. We've got a mechanical press. Right. I have attached that incorrectly. I think we are actually going to need to put this physics to the test. Right. Okay, so I make a lot. That was a small one. Right, okay, so if I attach a large cogwheel like that, then I attach a small cogwheel like that. No. Is it like that? How do I do this? Is it like that? How does this work? They attach diagonal. Wait, can I not change direction? Wait, how do I change direction? Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Do I need a gear? I need one of those bloody gear boxes, really? I can't just like attach cogs like this. This is how they work physically. Unless, what if I try and trick the system by using physics again? Oh, that works. Yeah, that works perfectly fine. Wait, okay, so cogs can turn like that. Right, I need to move this one up a little bit. So that can go like that. So yeah, we're not changing the speed like this, but like, that's fine. I think the mechanical press will work fine at any speed. It's just like, it, it obviously takes a little longer. So I think if we had this spinning really fast, then it would just be going like, bam, 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 bam. But like, it's not gonna do that, I think. Right, okay, so then like, let's attach our mechanical press. How does this work? Should that, should that not be doing something? Do I need to put a thing there? What if I, what if I throw a bit of iron? Oh, oh, that works. Look at that. It's moving. And then it, oh, and then it goes back up. Look at that. And now, now we've got this. I'm a genius. Oh, create mod is so cool. Why have I never used this? Look, press it, press it. Yeah, go on, do the pressing. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it only goes one at a time, I think. That's fine. Keep doing the pressing. Oh, that is so cool. Go on, do it one more time. One more time. Oh, and then look at that. I've got... Oh, this is good. Okay, so then I make a propeller. And how do I make the fan again? I... Uh, not a fab, a fan. I need... Okay, I need more inside casing. So, like, let's just strip you down. And then, bat. That is the wrong thing. Just like, bam, look at that. Okay, so then it's the shaft like that. It is that there. And then the propeller like that. Look at that. We've got an encased fan. Right, okay. So, I assume the gear is in the back. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, where did you come from? No, no, you do not get to do that. My guy, where did you come from? Oh, I am not dying to one of you guys again, not this early. Where did you come from? Everywhere's lit up. It's daytime. Well, I mean, it's, it's sunset, but like stuff shouldn't be able to spawn yet. Oh, that is... 
I'm gonna sleep inside tonight. Don't do that. You scared me. That's mean. What a little meanie. Right, okay. I want to use the exploit of, like, quick gear turning, which is not an exploit. It's, it's just actual physics. So, right. Here's how this works. We have this little thing here. Wait. Oh, I can just attach it like that. That is so convenient. Okay, and then if I take, like, a large cogwheel and attach it like that, look at that. So that, yeah, that's spinning at slightly different speeds, as you can see. And then if I go and attach that like that, cool, that is spinning that way. Uh, Not very fast, but a little bit faster. And then if I go and attach that like that, that is the wrong way. If I go and attach that like that, look at that, I... I don't know what sort of mechanism is in that that makes that turn into that speed, but like, I won't complain. Also, I want to change out this log just to, uh, not log, uh, sorry, I want to change out the dirt to be a log just because it looks a little more aesthetic. You, you okay, mate? Like, oh my gosh, the fan is going so fast that it blew your wool off. Whoa. Okay, I want to try something, though. So if I just quickly make, like, a nice bit of water or something, just, I don't know, enclose it like that, put a pressure plate there, then put some water right there. Okay, so look at that. Right, we are getting some nice water there. And now if I go and get gravel, I don't have any? Do I not have any gravel? Okay. Let's go and make a shovel because like we we don't need to worry about iron after this guys. We're gonna be rich. We have an infinite supply of iron as, as long as we can get gravel. Is there gonna be a way of making gravel? Sorry it's just create mod would not surprise me at this point if there's a way of getting gravel. There is. Look at that. Okay so it needs crushing but like that it's possible. So actually you could make an iron farm by essentially, oh my gosh. So you could have an iron farm, which is basically a cobblestone farm. Then that cobblestone gets broken apart. All of that broken apart cobblestone then goes through a bunch of crushes and stuff, which gets gravel. And then the gravel gets washed and you get iron. Dude, that is awesome. What were the other things that we were able to get from this? So like you wash it and you, you can get flint. Okay. So like iron nugget is only a 12% chance. But honestly, if you just had a great supply of gravel, Gravel. I don't think that would be too unreasonable, honestly. By the way, I, I do recognize the fact that, like, I am screaming about learning what is probably a very simple thing in Create Mod. But you gotta remember, this is my first time. So, like, me learning all of this stuff by myself on my own, I mean, obviously with some clients helping and stuff. Me learning all of this stuff, this is amazing. The one thing is, I would like to get access to that crushing stuff because that could be a massive help help but like i don't know how i'm gonna get brass because it seems to need a blaze burner and i don't know how i would get that i mean no i know how i would craft a blaze burner and stuff just i don't see myself surviving because i'm pretty sure so like if we if we just quickly go and look up blaze burner if it wants to select the search thing here so looking at a blaze burner it there's a question mark there and i'm pretty sure that question mark is capturing an actual live blaze which means of course going to the nether i i'm not looking forward to that i physically do not see myself surviving that i mean who knows maybe my skills have improved maybe i would but like i don't, I don't know getting that close to blazes in hardcore i don't exactly like my chances. I mean, I'm not exactly good at the game. Man, I I actually quite like the rain with shaders, I'll be honest. Normally, I hate the rain. It completely ruins my bitrate. But like, when it's shaders and it's kind of transparent and stuff, it's, it's honestly quite nice. It's quite relaxing. Why can't I wash gravel by just letting it rain? Genuinely, it's really nice. Uh, okay, so if I just lock that in there so that nothing falls out of the way, and I, I just chuck my gravel in here, I think, give it a bit of time, we might get some iron. And actually, wait, I just got... <gasps> yes! I got an achievement! there something washed i mean i might not have gone iron but I, I got something dude let's go just quickly check for no mobs because that was a very late sleep there so something could have spawned yep down there okay nothing seems to be too high up here though so if i just open this and take a look there's there's a lot of flint but wait 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 wait, wait a second that looks like some iron nuggets i think we're about to get our first iron ingot 
from gravel. Look at this. We have upgraded so much today. And like, I mean, the aesthetic around here has barely changed. But like, we got something. I feel like we have actually made significant progress today. Look at that. We got... I... I don't actually know how many iron nuggets we had before. I think we only had four, so like... I got some. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I completely forgot about all that gravel. Oh, I just want to sit here and watch this. But, like, look at this. We've actually turned our windmill, which was completely aesthetic, into a functional thing. Whilst also still keeping a little aesthetic, because I still put a cogwheel up there. That cogwheel is staying, and it does absolutely nothing. It is functionally useless but it's it's just kind of fun to have there you know it's just a nice little thing that spins as a result of the windmill and stuff it sort of shows it working a bit more it does actually also spin the opposite direction you might notice which is a thing that i think is done by that bit Anyway, how is our second set of iron doing? Look at... <gasps> up to 30 from that? So here we go. We are about to make the first iron collected completely... Uh, is it sustainable? I mean, I guess it is. Because, like, we established that the gravel was sustainable by, like, a cobblestone farm and everything like that. So you know what? With that, I think I am willing to say that this has been a massive success and i actually got to use create mod for once so you know if you want to see how this expands then i guess just be sure to stick around for episode three i am so excited now